This is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Okay. Oven mitt check. Let me see if you got them on. Let me see if you got them on. Okay, you got them on. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds. Now hit that like button. Hit that note. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is NEO, ticker symbol N-I-O. Did I scare you with that one? My bad. You know it's all up. Now, NEO, ticker symbol N-I-O. Now, just yesterday, Lee Ben, the CEO of NEO, he said this. He spilled the beans, actually, and he gave a hint. And he said the next vehicle, reportedly, that's going to be introduced on NEO Day 2022 is expected to be the next sedan so we know they introduced the first sedan the et7 now they are expected to release a new sedan around the time that the et7 is going to actually be delivered and on top of all of that they just rolled out their hundred thousandth mass produced vehicle at their jack neo advanced manufacturing center so major salute to them for that i told y'all even when the stock price is pulling down just jeff bezos he said this the best he said that the stock and the company are not the same thing. They can move and react totally differently. Now, that's absolutely true with Neo. The stock price may have came down, but the business is way up. Let me tell you. That's why I tell you don't invest in companies you don't believe in. But let's keep it going. Lee Ben, he also reportedly stated that Neo now commands 50% of the high end market that they're in. And with this being said, he's confident that they're going to achieve a million sales in the future. Keep in mind, 2021 is supposed to be the first year that even Tesla gets to like a million sales, if not a little under, if not a little over. So major shout out to Neo for even saying, you know what? I can see that in our future. And we got 50% of the high end EV network. That's crazy. Now, what else came out is this, that sedan that they coming out with, he said that this is going to rival the Model 3. This is gonna rival the Model 3. So they're not trying to stay maintained in that super high-end just brand. We already know they're trying to bring it down, but they gotta start with the high-end cars so they can make some money and then invest into more affordable vehicles. And we already know the price targets on Neo, but I'll let you know. And it's 38, which is just about where the stock is right now. That's the low price target. Then the median is 62, and then the high is 81. Now, all of the price targets came down a bit why because of that global chip shortage we already know what time it is baby but again how do we play this one same way we've been playing it you got to get a hundred to a thousand shares of neo build your position totally out let me know in the comments how many you have you if you already let me know let me know again i'm trying to see that you got one more than you had i want to see you take one step in the future remember let's get to it and how long are we holding on to this again we not letting go of our neo in this decade we holding on to it for the next decade if not the next decade after that 2030 vision baby figuratively speaking next banger on the list is this and it's palantir technology take it some pltr now a lot of people keep asking me keenan why is palantir dropping pete keenan why ain't it going up i always tell you this whenever you ask me why ain't the stock going up or why did the stock come down i'm gonna tell you this so you could buy it that's literally the end of the story it's down so you could buy it buy low sell high why is the stock down you let me know in the comments why is the stock down so you could buy it now what's the news of palantir technology is this just yesterday on april 7th 2021 arc invest we already know what time it is with arc invest they wanted the best performing etfs and they just purchased not ten thousand not a hundred thousand but over a million shares of this stock while it's consolidating. Consolidating means it has a strong floor and it's probably gonna take off sooner rather than later. Now, why is this important? Because they loaded up a million just a few days after Palantir won that $89 million contract with the National Nuclear Security Administration. Why is that important? because this shows the level of confidence that the united states government has in this company so even if people everyday retail investors don't have any confidence guess what the united states government gave them basically just management to weapons of mass destruction and the data around that that's national security level just trust that's absolutely crazy in terms of is this company a banger or not now this company is in a low $20 range and it's up like 2% on a day at the time of this recording. It may change. It's down like 1% on a month, but it's up over 100% on a year. So we already know they're a big data company and the price targets on this, let's talk about it. It's 15 on the low, 25 on the median, 
and then it's 40 on the high. However, I can see this one blowing way past that once it starts taking off. And it was $45 a share at highs. Now, this one has graduated to strike to own. We already know what time it is. You're gonna strike to own between 50 and 250 of this stock. Now, if you already loaded up and you got your position built out, let's say you got 250 of these. That means you could chill. You could chill, you could kick back and say, you know what, I got my position built out. But then, that's when if you see a price you like, you already know what to do. If you see a price lower than your average or something that you just can't resist after your position is already built out, then you strike, baby. So now, we're gonna try to load up on this in a low $20 range if your position already built out, and then we gonna hold on to this for over a year, preferably three years or more. So now, if you can't hold on for that long, pass on this one, there will always be another play. But let's get to the next banger on the list, and the next banger on the list is Square, ticker symbol SQ, and they just announced that they expanded the business again. This one is going up, and we've been on this run since they pulled all the way back past the $200 we've been in it and now they up back to 250 but I want you to be cautious because it's getting back close to the all-time highs but let's keep talking about it now they just announced that they expanded the business into Ireland for the first time now again we've been in this since it pulled back since it pulled back but now we trying to ride it all the way up but this is a long-term hold now the price targets on this is 160 on a low 276 on the median and then three 80 on the high now for those of you who don't know who is this company they process payments and they try to make a connection between the seller and the buyer no matter what form that the person wants to buy it they want to make you able to accept either bitcoin or cash they actually own cash app and all kind of other things like that now i said this in a previous video but like let's say that you eat something like vegan food or you go to like a mom and pop shop not like an older one but like a new a new like hip kind of one nowadays right where they got vegan food or vegetarian food or something like that go in there and see what they're using nine times out of ten they're using some square hardware or square software to run your card and all of this and all of that so now they're expanding the business so this company is a banger just know that so how do we play this one we're gonna play this one since it's going all the way up to 250 and it's been swinging if you check the charts, you'll see that it's been swinging from 250, drop all the way down to like 180 something, and then swing right back up to 250. So you want to be cautious on this. However, personally, I'm not going to sell out of this play. What I'm going to do is average down. This is a long-term hold for me, aka three years or more. This company is a banger, an absolute banger. So how are we going to play this? If you're trying to get in the game or you're trying to get more, then we're going to use strike price, baby. If I see a price I like, I strike. And if I don't, guess what? We pass on the play. There will always be another play but the first strike price and we're going to break it into three different strike prices. the first one is right now and then the next one the next strike price is 239 if it pulled back to 239 bow i'm on that and then if it pulled back even more to 199 i'm really on that bow, bow, bow. and then i'm gonna ride the wave straight to the promised land baby i see you there but if you load it up back when i first brought this up you should already be on the ride all the way up from like the 180s, 190s, all the way up to 250. You should already be on this ride. So if you is, let me know in the comments, baby. We holding this for three years. So now, let's talk about a bonus. And the bonus is this. And this is a new one for us. And it's Fortress Biotech, took simple F-B-I-O. Currently, they're in the $4 range, but this is what's important about this company. They just received two home run price targets in the last four and eight days and the price targets are this for totally the price targets are this nine dollars on a low 13 on a median and then 24 on a high now if it hit any of those that's basically a home run grand slam even better so now keep in mind this is a 400 million dollar company in that range and half of that half of that money is cash on hand and it's $235 million that they have in cash on hand. That's a lot of cash. And what are they doing with all of that? They're doing this. They have about 28 wide-ranging new treatments on the pipeline, and many of them are in their phase three trials, ready, getting, just ready to step up to the plate to get that FDA approval. So now, on top of all of that, they already got six FDA-approved medications that's already on the market. They got $235 million in cash on hand, which is basically half of their market cap. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. I'm not going to go into way too much detail on this. If you want me to do this one in a full coverage, see what the big dogs is doing, see how to get in, how to get out, let me know in the comments. Other than that, I'm going to leave this one hanging. But let's get it going. Comment today is this. 
and shout out, this is a special one. He said this, oven mitts on, bow tie on, I'm getting married tomorrow and I'm bringing generational wealth with me. Let's go. Now I want to say major salute to you, big dog. Major salute to you. And I wish you and your family all the love in the world. You already know. I want you to just set a chair up for me there. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be there because you know the pandemic and whatnot. And I don't, we don't really know each other just yet. But just know, you a part of the family, big dog. I wish you nothing but the best. Shout out to you. Shout out to your partner. Everything that's going on. I appreciate you and good luck. Now, let's see some champagne bottles in the comments to support my guy getting married and give him some marriage advice too, so he could go about it the right way so shout out to y'all i love y'all take care